What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Serial? You? What's up, wherever you're watching me from, bro? Bro, I just want to make this a final take, okay, for each and every one of us. That if justice is not served to LJ, I'm not reacting to. I'm not reacting on anything. So if you know that you are going to unsubscribe, unsubscribe now. I'm not reacting to anything because. We can see it as reunions, okay, or as musicians, all of you guys, you will see it and you will see injustice going on and you are not saying anything. And some of you are just like, ah, LJ is used to, he's used to. You get And you wait for the people of Sierra Leone to, to, to go around to campaign for you when you get involved. So just just a public notice that I'm not reacting to anything. I'm supposed to react to some stuff, but because I'm seeing injustice in front of my eyes, I can't keep quiet. That's me. I will never keep quiet. You get it. So, bro, we are still on this video thing. Please, video needs your help. Let's support our sister. Even if you have one dollars, two dollars, one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, any amount you do have please donate okay so today i saw something okay that made me feel like so civil unions can see this but yes still think about politics and don't think about justice which each and everyone is fighting for okay and uh lj brother said something before i come to what i saw this is what his brother said and I'll address him too. He said, We have been crying about our justice system forever. Now I believe the appointed officials in our offices that are appointed to help push the union forward are the enemies of the state, starting from the presidency, who has the power to appoint qualified people to serve and willfully support, willfully appointed people they believe uh, will serve their personal interests. What is currently going on in the justice system has shown us the conspiracy between the president, vice president, the police, the internal affairs minister, the attorney general, and the minister of justice. All the sectors are strongly connected to our justice system. You cannot tell me none of these departments do, don't know that what the inspector general of police did was a total violation to declare a warrant of arrest verbally <clears throat> for a citizen. Maybe some people don't know this, but we know a judge is the only person who has a right to put out a warrant for anyone. And we have the Attorney General and the Minister of Justice who are still silenced to correct the wrong going, the wrongdoing of the IG. This is telling us if you are not part of anything connected to the president's appointed people, you are not safe. And then it continues saying, there's a lot of people who are quoting from the 1965 law code that insulting someone is a crime. Insulting someone is never a criminal crime. It's Let me repeat this to you guys also, because I've seen that. Insulting somebody is never a criminal crime. Okay? It's never a criminal crime. And he said, it's a civil matter of fact. An insulting case should be filed directly in court, not to the police. <clears throat> if you find guilty by the court, the, the fine is only 20 leons, 20,000 leons, or three months in jail, or both. Going to jail has to, uh, has to be the judge decision, not the police. So I'm calling on the vice president, Dr. Judo Jallo, the Antony General, and the Minister of Justice to intervene and correct the wrongdoing of the police. This might be a perfect time to bring up to the people of Sierra Leone. Okay? This is... I, I love the fact that he came out with some stuff that some of us really need to understand. Okay? Now, bro, let's, let's say something. What you're saying right now is good and is, is really nice. Okay, calling on the the vice president to at least 
look into the situation. But let me make this plain to you, brother. Do you know you you persecuted your brother first? Do you know how you did that? Let's forget that you might be saying, let's forget about that now and let's focus on what is going on. We can only forget about that if the people that you made them feel like the family of LJ has even tired with him. If you're trying to clean that thought from their mind first, then you'll forget about what you did. For me, I believe what you stated there, that's what gave them more zeal to even pursue this particular case. You blasted your brother publicly for people to see that what, it, what he was doing is wrong and which everybody accepted and which even himself accepted thinking what you're doing is perfectly right. But at the same time, you, you told the public that everything that he did was wrong, but now you can't save him publicly. You said you declare what he did was wrong publicly, but now you can't save him publicly. You see what I stated last time that sometimes we need to think what we, before we do things? These are some of the reasons. You are doing the best interest of LJ or best interest of the family name or the pressure that you were going through. But you don't know that the justice system is not even correct. Now you know that the justice system is not correct. You're trying to make it seem like, okay, they have to intervene. We should supposed to intervene. And so each and every one of you guys who are sitting there saying what LJ did is supposed to go to jail for that, to insult somebody. Do you know what your favorite artist is doing behind closed doors? Which is two times, three times, five times, ten times worse than what LJ did just to protect their brand. Do you know what your favorite artist is doing? Behind closed doors to protect their brand. Bro, let's look at this picture of LJ and tell me, as a serial union, we should have feels like we need something that's supposed to be justice for the layman, not only for the, the dignities we have in the country, but for the layman. Look at this picture and tell me if it's supposed to be six to seven men to arrest one individual that just stated something that he was not comfortable with, that made insults publicly. Six people went to arrest LJ for a crime that is not a criminal case. And you will sit there, come in the comment session and trying to tell people that LJ deserve it. So LJ deserve what is going on. But the stepson, which is Barry, Muhammad Barry, came, made a video insulting LJ dead mother publicly. Dead mother publicly. And I'm not seeing anybody ranting about it. I'm not seeing, and I, it's disgusting. I'm seeing people in the comment section even supporting what the boy did because LJ insulted his mom. So you have, to, you have to insult. Bro. And I make this prayer for you guys this day. To all of you guys who are busy commenting like that, may it happen to you. May the injustice that LJ is facing, may it happen to you. And if you come and respond the same thing, I will block you. Because I don't deal with people who doesn't have sense of humor. Who feels like something's just supposed to happen to one individual because they're doing it. But don't try to calculate and think that, okay, this individual, why is he doing it? Is it because it's too much on him? Is it because he's doing it for this reason? Now, that guy, the guy is an is a advocator. Please, how many journalists, how many radio stations, how many bloggers have even stated something about this? How many artists have even stated something about what is going on concerning what the boy did to LJ? 
But I say sometimes that's why I feel like you, the artists, are the people. Sometimes I feel like some of you artists, you are there and you allow this advantage to happen to your own. When other institutions are busy fighting for your own, but you guys you just sit down and allow things to happen to your own. And when they call on me, you're like, nah, it's not my problem. Nah, I didn't offend anybody. Nah, why should I even involve? Nah, LJ is too much. Bro, nobody is too much to face injustice. You can be too much when something is justice in itself to you. But no one injustice is showing in front of our faces and you're saying it's too much for LJ. And you're saying LJ deserves it. No. It doesn't. No matter how bad he is, it doesn't. The same way you, wa you want your unions to root out for you when something goes wrong, that is the same way he wants people to stand for him at this particular time. So if you guys are not voicing out till so something goes bad with LJ or something happens that none of us, the whole country is not expecting it and it has to bring out war or something or something that is not correct, I don't want any artist to come and tell us that is wrong. Because it makes no sense. So, bro, me, that's all I have to say. The injustice is too much. And you artists need to stand up. You artists need to make something. Because at the end of the day, you don't know if you might be guilty. You might find guilty in front of these people. And you want people to support you. You want your case to cut across. Make a go. Now, salute you all day.